I'm going to show you how to make an easy slime farm that works in Minecraft 117 and below and gives you loads of slime balls. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, in my Minecraft 117 farm tutorial series. This is where I make farms for you that work in Minecraft 117, however many of them work in under 117 as well, so 116, 115, 114. This one works for miles back, I think it goes back to like Minecraft 110, this one's quite a nice design too. This is possibly one of the easiest non-swamp slime farms you are ever going to make. And why is it so easy? Because in reality, you actually need very few resources. You need to dig a lot, but the resources themselves, quite low. Let's have a look at what you need. Everything you need is living in this chest. Now it looks a little bit scary with 60 blocks of iron, but in reality it doesn't take that much to get 60 blocks of iron, especially if you've got an iron farm, and you could use fewer, it just works most efficiently with 60 blocks of iron. The rest, fairly easy to come by, they can be any stairs, they don't have to be copper stairs at all. You obviously need tools with which to dig, pick, and a shovel, and some temporary torches, but you're gonna get these ones back, maybe you don't even use them. You also might need a load of ladders to get down to the bottom and back up to the top, and I've got some calcite and some weathered copper blocks, cause maybe you want to line the walls of your farm and line the platforms of your farm, but you don't have to. That is just total luxury. So once you've got your resources, you need to find yourself a slime chunk or two. Now I've done a video on how to find a slime chunk very, very recently. The link is in the description below and it should be displayed on the screen right now. Once you've identified your slime chunk, I've just outlined mine there in crimson wood planks, come to one of the corners and come out one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then turn towards the center and come in, including that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and dig out that block you are going to go down to y level five straight down so you might want to think about doing this too wide that's absolutely fine and standing in the middle and you should stop when the block that you're looking at that's that block right there is y5 you don't want to dig any deeper than that because you're just going to get into some bedrock trouble i then want you to dig forward five blocks and across a total of four. So you've got a room that is five by four and three high with the block that you stood on initially at the top being the corner. So this is my corner block. I'm going out one, two, three, four, making a total of five blocks and I'm coming across four and I'm gonna dig all of this out. And this is gonna be your collection room stand directly under the hole that you've just dug and on the far wall the five long wall in the middle place a torch on the second level that will mean every block in here is light level eight and no mobs will spawn this box is outside of the slime chunk that you have located just now unless you've built it next to a second slime chunk and maybe you want to check that then you should be fine for slimes not spawning inside here if you're not sure pop a carpet down on the floor that will stop them Grab your crafting table and place it underneath that torch there and then get two chests and place them next to the crafting table. That is where you're gonna store your slime blocks that you make out of the slime balls that get collected from your farm using your crafting table. And then knock out those two. I've got the uh, chunk board is enabled there. You can see we're right up against the chunk border now and put a double chest there and a double chest there. Then take out those two and place in your two steps right there. That is your room ready to roll. Now we're gonna dig our way through to our primary farm area. So first off, dig out those three blocks. You can see the chunk borders are shown right there. You can switch those off by pressing F3 and G, but it's good to be able to visualize them. Right the other side, that is our slime chunk. But we're gonna get inside the slime chunk by staring up to here because we want to get to Y level eight. Y level eight is going to be the floor, the lowest point of our farm. 
once you've dug yourself a little bit of room and you've exposed the back of those steps, that's why it's good to have them in a different block so you can see them very easily. Fill in the gap that you've just made. You're not gonna need that. You're gonna get out through the top of the farm now and then you can come back to your room later. Pop yourself a light just there so as you can see what you're doing and take out these three blocks. That should expose the back of that chest plus one more block to the side of it. Get a hopper, shift click a hopper into the back of the chest Shift click that hopper into that hopper and shift click that hopper into that hopper. That's our collection system. We now need to dig out a little bit more and put down some rails. I have created a six by eight room that is two blocks high. And you can see we've got two blocks beyond those three hoppers and three blocks beyond it on the other side with that wall being at six long. Then grab your redstone block and come to this corner right here and place down a block of redstone come to the one next to it diagonally, place another one down there, and then come across one and down two, which is in line with this hopper, but with one gap. Go one, two, three, and four. And then finally, in this corner right there, place another one. That is all seven of the redstone blocks you need. It's time to put down some rails. So we're gonna pop a powered rail right there, and then anywhere we've not got redstone, we're gonna come and bring a normal rail. Shift click as you go over the hoppers, up and round, spin around the corner, place a powered rail on there. Now, depending on which direction you've got this facing, this could snap that rail or add to that rail. In this case, it's snapped that rail. That is okay. Place another rail there, remove those two rails, place another rail there. That'll snap it around in that direction and place the powered rail back again. And then keep coming around. Every time you come to a redstone block, place a powered rail. And if it's not a redstone block, place a normal rail and it should look something exactly like that. We are now gonna dig this six by eight room two more blocks high. And in the direction behind me, which is the direction opposite where we have the hoppers, the chests, and the back of those two steps, we are gonna dig across to the other side of the chunk. So that will be a total of 16 blocks across. However, behind me, we aren't going four deep. We're just going the two deep that we are about to dig out. I'll show you what I mean. So it's like this, as you can see, we have got a step up those two blocks that come up to the second level, and this goes all the way over to the other side of the chunk. However, at this point, you are probably likely to start to find caves and holes and things like this. This is a good thing. This farm will work far more efficiently if you have lit up all the caves that are around you. Plus, some of the caves that you found is probably gonna save you some digging. So make sure you get up and light up as many of these caves as you can possibly find because it's gonna mean you're gonna get more slimes in the future. Using some of the rock that you've already just dug out, place it back over the first row of your tracks here, but don't place anything in that hole right there. And then come in one, two, and three on that side, one, two, and three on that side, then two, and then one, then two, and then one. You should have a gap of two right there. And then get magma blocks and fill in all of this area, but again, not that one. So you should have two there, four there, six there, and eight there. Next up, dig up one more level, and then on either side, go all the way across, leaving a one block jump until you get to the other edge of that chunk right there. So you'll be able to see again, if you've got the F3 and G, you can see that you've got it there, and do the same on the other side. Another big advantage of this farm is that you can come across loads of resources, diamonds, lapis, all sorts. It's really worth it. So if you've done it right, you should have four blocks on that side, eight blocks coming across this side, and four more blocks on that side. If you're not entirely central, that's no biggie actually. It can still work, but it should be four, eight, and four. You just might need to adjust the way you do your water if it's not that way around. And then go four more blocks on either side at exactly the same level. And once you've done that, bring it all up, just one more level through the roof. So it should look like that. I'm gonna turn off my chunk borders now because they give me all the guidance that I need. F3 and G. Perfect. Now come to the center of your middle channel and crouch to come across this if you are in survival because obviously that is going to burn you and dig out the middle four one block up. So that's one, two, three, and four, and then those and those. And you need to go back three blocks like this. 
I've uncovered another cave there, which I will need to light up. And again, that is good news. Once you've lit up any caves, get yourself a torch and pop one just in the back. It doesn't matter where, it just needs to be able to light this area up. Put one, two, three, four fences right across there. And then inside here, place one block, two blocks of iron, another block of iron there, and another block of iron there, and put a jack-o'-lantern on top. You have got one iron golem, and that iron golem is gonna be your last piece of bait. Slimes are actually really quite good at swimming against a current, so you want to tempt them across onto the magma blocks, because they're also really stupid and won't realize that the magma blocks will kill them. This iron golem will suck them across. They may sometimes jump onto the edge of those blocks, but that is okay, because the golem will just knock them off, and that will do them extra damage too. This is the point that I recommend you put your minecart with hopper in. Not because you have to do it now, and if you want to leave it till a little bit later, feel free, the noise can get annoying. But I've been known to forget to put it in, and that makes the farm absolutely useless. So maybe it's best to have the annoying noise than it is to have a useless farm. Come to the hole that you left earlier, place the minecart with hopper right on there, and then pop your cobblestone over the top. That is now set, and that one is gonna run forever and ever and ever. Anything that lands on this area is gonna get collected up by that minecart with hopper, and you are good to go because it'll get thrown in the chests. I told you it's quite important for it to actually be running. Don't forget the minecart with hopper. Now come to one of your ledges. It doesn't matter which one, as long as you come to one of them, and come over to the edge and count in one, two, three, and four. Take out this row of blocks all the way across. Now you know that this is the first row of blocks that is outside your slime chunk. If I press F3 and G again, you can see the chunk border is right there. I press F3 and G just to get rid of it. Now take out all of this part as well. Do exactly the same on the other side, but leave this section here because this section, that is gonna be your first spawning platform. This is the point that if you've actually found bamboo in your world and you've got scaffolding, this could be quite useful. But you don't need it, which is why it wasn't in the inventory earlier. You can just use the blocks that you've already mined out to block up with. Come to one of your sides, doesn't matter which one, and count in from the corner six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the seventh one, place a scaffold or whatever block it is you're gonna use right there, because you're gonna use that to climb up. We're gonna take out this right up as many levels as you can possibly get really, but you want to get up to at least y equals 40. Now that's a lot of digging. Currently, we're looking at y equals 15. And you're gonna do that on both sides of this farm. Again, if you come across any caves or mine shafts in your travels, that is good news. Light them up, that is just gonna make your farm work even better. You should now have two big old holes going down into your ceiling like that on both sides. We're gonna be accessing this quite a lot, so don't lose the scaffold if that's what you've used. And then we're gonna dig out a platform. First off, we're gonna come across here. And we're gonna make that three high. And dig that right across to the other side, so you've got a 16 by 16 flat slab at Y14. And you can check because you can see the targeted block here, the block of that platform, is on Y14. We've dug out the entire 16 by 16 platform, three high, and you can see I've put jack-o'-lanterns into the floor. Jack-o'-lanterns are spawnable, which means it doesn't affect the spawnability of the slimes. If you use torches, which you can if you want to, what happens is that each torch blocks off a chance of a slime spawning, so you get reduced activity. That's why jack-o'-lanterns are best. And you can see I've done it in a specific pattern. From the corner, we've got one, two, three, and then a jack-o'-lantern. That's true in all of the corners. And then past that jack-o'-lantern, we've got one, two, three, and then a square. And in the middle, coming straight, we've got two jack-o'-lanterns coming. That means that every block, if I bring up my F3 screen, every block looking around, we have not got any blocks of a light level of seven or less. What that means, is that only slimes are gonna spawn on here. You're not gonna get skeletons or creepers or anything like that that's gonna cause any problems for the farm. Now come to either side of your platform, it doesn't matter which one, and you are gonna dig a four by three hole right in the middle in the opposite wall like that. And it should be level, you can see here, level with the platform. So you've got right there and one, two, three, four. And then dig back three so as it has got plenty of space inside and stick a torch at the back. Doesn't matter where in the back you stick the torch. Place four 
fences there and bring in an iron golem in exactly the same way as you did down at the bottom. That is the bait for this platform on this side. We're going to repeat that on this side. That is perfect. We've got one on either side, which means no matter where on this platform a slime spawns, they are going to spy the golems fairly quickly and lob themselves off the edge like that and then end up going into our trap. Now we need to repeat this process and we're gonna make multiple platforms going up and up and up. You should end up with platforms at Y14, 18, 22, 26, 30, 34 and 38. Each of them with a three gap in the middle and that means seven spawning platforms for your slime. You should now have all of your platforms in place with the golems there too. Now down at the bottom, you're kind of stuck in this place a little bit now. So you're going to need to make yourself an exit. And that's really easy. Just come over next to Mr. G over here. And on this platform, come across one, two. And on this block here, bore out that block and take out that block. It's quite important to leave one block gap. And then go out another one. And then come down one and then come down another one, and then turn and go across and down, across and down, across and down, and you should find yourself in your house like this, so you can get yourself out through the exit that you've already got. Now you may find it a good idea, because in very rare occasions, you could get the odd slime hop up onto that. So what you might want to do is get yourself a door and just pop it there, just so you can get in and out. It also means that you can have access to the inside of the farm should anything ever go wrong. Although theoretically, nothing should ever go wrong. All we need to do now is just encourage the slimes to move down towards Mr. G so we can get their lovely drops. And the way we do that is using some water flows. Now slimes can swim, which is why Mr. G is there to beckon them over. Now, if you remember earlier, it's really easy to be able to get these platforms not eight wide. You can see currently these are eight wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. But what if you fluffed it and one is seven and one is nine? Don't panic viewer, I've got an answer. If your platform is seven wide, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, you've got a problem because the water will flow over the end and you don't want to do that all the way across. So all you need to do is just pop out one block out of the wall like this. So you've now got an eight block water flow and that's exactly what you need. But, Avamance, what if I've got a nine block platform? What do I do then? Well, that's even easier. Slap yourself an extra block down at the bottom. Yes, it's possible that the slimes could fall on top of that block. But in reality, even if they did, they would jump off eventually because they're stupid. Slime AI means they bounce all over the place. And as a result, this system then is absolutely flawless as well. The slimes will eventually get into the water and be flowed down towards Mr. G over there. Now, before you put the water in, you've got a choice. You can leave this entire farm as bare rock and bits of diorite and dirt sticking out and it will work absolutely perfectly. Or if you want to be a complete anally retentive builder, you can fancy it up by lining all of the walls and the platforms and making it look really pretty. I'm going to do that because I'm not afraid to use the calcite and the copper that I've got in my inventory. So let's fancy this up. I repeat. This bit is just for show. You do not have to do this bit. Okay, so I admit it, I might have gone overboard just a little bit, but these weathered copper blocks that you get in Minecraft 117 are just perfect to line a slime farm up. They're green, for goodness sake. Slimes are green, they're green. They had to be used. But I emphasize, this is utterly not necessary. I've totally overdone it. Oh, we've already got some slimes starting to spawn in just over there, which is amazing. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna slap in a load of water along this edge. That is gonna run water right to the end here. We're then gonna come along this way. These slimes are gonna try and have a pop at us, but that's fine. And we're gonna run water all the way along this edge as well. And that will run all the way to that side, which is brilliant. So then I'm gonna to come to this end here and I'm gonna run all the way along there, which is gonna put water to there. Now you notice there's this big gap here. That doesn't work because if a slime stops here and doesn't do anything, doesn't wanna go further, that's no good. So what we need to do is we need to come to the end here and take out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight 
blocks. That will run right up to the edge of that magma, but not over it. Do exactly the same over on this side. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And on that side, we've got water running up to the magma, but not over it. That is your finished farm. And as you can see, nothing will spawn on the bottom now because of the water, which is absolutely fine, but everything will spawn up above you as long as you are far enough away. So that needs an AFK spot. So come through your door and come down into the collection room here. You can see we've already collected as a stack of slime balls already just from us placing the water and turning the thing on. Up here, we have got a set of steps that has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16 steps, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks. And this is our AFK spot. We are sufficiently far away from the farm to make sure all the platforms can spawn things, but close enough to make sure things don't despawn very easily so we get maximum rates out of the farm. And if you have lit up all of your caves correctly, so the only place mobs can spawn is inside your farm, the only mobs that will spawn will be slimes. And I'm now warning you, that means that you can get stacks of slimes in not very long. So we're gonna do an AFK session for just one hour. I'm gonna take out all the slime balls out of there, and I'm gonna go up to my AFK spot, and I'm gonna stay there for one hour and see how many we get. Let's get rid of those so they don't affect anything. One hour AFK, let's go. That has been exactly one hour, so it's time to go down and see what we've got in our bucket. So coming down the steps, interested to see. We should have pretty decent because we've covered up most of the spawnable areas, so we should have a decent yield. Yes, we do. We've got 18, 19, 20, 20, 20 nearly 22 stacks in one hour. I'm pretty pleased with that. Unless you are a huge redstoner, 22 stacks of slime balls will probably keep you going for a very long time. That is an awful lot of leads. This is a pretty effective farm in Minecraft 117, but it works equally well in 116, 115, 114 and below. So if you're not playing 117 or even 116 yet, feel free to do this farm anyway. It works a charm. And if you don't want to dig quite as much, you don't have to do all seven platforms. You could perhaps only do three platforms and then you've got less iron that you need to do because there are fewer iron golems involved. Yep, you, your mates won't be necessary. If there are any other farms you'd like me to try out in Minecraft 117, do let me know in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. If you have enjoyed that video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.